What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2021 Obsidian Football. This is a 12 box case break. Pikachu is number four. And here we go, guys. Sold out straight up. With a help from everybody. But a special shout out there to Carl. He, he got a lot of the big heavy hitter teams, including the Bucks last spot mojo. So there you go, man. Good luck, Carl. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good luck, everybody, guys. Like I said. It's Obsidian, you know, our first two cases weren't something that we wanted to see, but our third case was probably one of the best we've seen, so I'm hoping we continue that trend. So like I said, I learned today from you guys, of course, like, you know, Color Blast on average, R per case, one white Contra or one Color Blast, but theory has worked. If you, you, get, you can get two Color Blasts like we did in the last case, so let's see what we got here, guys. Let's go. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. First one is Ramondre Stevenson with a Clyde Edwards Alaire to 100. So Ramondre Stevenson, that is going to Carl and the Patriots. That's 36 out of 75. Whoa. Jalen Darden, that's for the Bucks, also going to Carl. And another one for Carl. That's out of 50. 22 out of 50. Carl Trask. Look at that. One, two, three, four color patch. So Carl, last spot mojo already on the board. With a couple of hits here. Terrace Marshall Jr. That's going to the uh, Carolina Panthers. Eric with that one. Kellen Mond to 75. 52 out of 75 for the Minnesota Vikings. Going to Jerry Bennington. And Trey Sermon to 99. Also going to Carl in the 49ers. Nice. That was a good running back out of college. Jesus, naked. Come on, man. All right, first one down. Next one. Ooh, look at that. Wow, Tilo and a Color Blast in the same pack. Let's save that right there. See who that is. Justin Jefferson. Let me uh, try to like block this. We know the T laws there, but I don't know what that, what's under that. Trevor Lawrence, though, tunnel vision. That's a uh, 23 out of 25. Very nice T-Law, though. That's uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, Carl. Ian Book to 75. Did you really, Anthony? I didn't see it. I mean, maybe it was there. I, I... Oh, sorry. Was the name on the corner? I just seen the rookie. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention anywhere else. 299. I guess you guys all could see it, though. Oh, well. Uh, Quan Baker. We have a Barmore. Oh, good eye, Anthony. I wasn't paying attention to that. I was just paying attention to the rookie part. And I was like, whoa, rookie. And to 99, Javante Williams. That's for Denver going to Mark. All right, guys. Well, I guess technically you guys might have seen it already. Wow, Zach Wilson. I didn't see it, though. 
Beautiful color blast. And you know what, Grant? You said on the last break, right? Everybody was hitting the big teams except mine. I was left out with the Jets. Well, now no more. Boom. Beautiful. There you go. C.D. Lamb and a Jerry Judy out of 25. I don't know. I mean, I know he has a prism color blast, and one of them sold for like 1,500 bucks already. But I don't know. Actually, I didn't check the checklist. Let's see. Mm, it doesn't look like he does. Seems like it's just Patrick Mahomes, Brady, Rodgers, Packers, uh, Wilson, Seahawks, Allen, Bills, Murray, Cardinals, Henry for the Titans, McCaffrey for the Panthers, Herbert for the Chargers, Burrow for the Bengals, Tua for the Dolphins, Metcalf for the Seahawks, Diggs for the Bills, Hopkins for the Cardinals, Watt. Yeah, no. Looks like he doesn't. It's just basically Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Fields, and Mac Jones. I think it's just the quarterbacks it looks like. A Devontae like this, though, would have been awesome. Two Chihuahua. We have a out of 75 Thurman Thomas. Well, at least we're getting quarterback color blast, right? I mean, that's, that's a good thing. Bills, Corey. We have a Javon Holland. Pro Duck. To 189. All right, hopefully, man. Get some Browns love. I haven't seen a lot of Browns, though, so I, I do expect some. Aurora, Vince Young. For the Titans. It's going to uh, Serenity. And Deami Brown. RPA. Washington going to John, and that's uh, to 150. 9 out of 150. That's right. I'm glad he doesn't. I'm glad. Damn overrated ass. Come on, little boxy. Oh, well, box doesn't want to close. Khalil Mack? And there's our white Contra, so maybe not two color blasts in this one. But it is a Xavier Collins. <laughs> I don't hate him. I just feel like so many people like just hype him up so much. I mean, why couldn't he do better in, in, in Detroit? I mean, I feel like a lot of other quarterbacks that are drafted there take their teams to another level. But, I mean, he had opportunities but just choked. Finally comes to a good team, I guess, right? I mean, but I think you can put any one of those quarterbacks in that situation. Put them on that Rams team and see if they do well, you know? That's my thing. Is that, uh, you know, you just have to be semi-decent to go to the Super Bowl with the Rams. DeAndre Swift to 10. There you go. That's Lions, Riley. And let's just be honest too, Aaron. They could have easily lost that Super Bowl to the Bengals. They were just one play away. Payne Turner. I mean, I don't know. We can go look at the stats and we'll see whether it was really the stats uh, in this playoffs for Matthew Stafford or not. To 199. 
And then we got 400 points given out there. Out of 50. Ooh, nice patch. Davis Mills. That's a nice one there for Houston. That's going to Charles. Like I said, that's, that's just my opinion. Doesn't mean I'm right or wrong. Joe Tryon. And we got Xavier Howard. I don't think he's overrated, but we can't really judge him. He's only been in the league for two years. <laughs> let's let's see how uh, let's see how his career turns out, and let's give him like 13 years, like Matthew Stafford, and see where he's at in 13 years. You know. Jalen Waddle. That's for the Minnes uh, sorry, Miami Dolphins. Ramondre Stevenson at 25. Nice another three, four color patch. Dude, Greg, that picket team was wild, right? It's crazy. That's the case we were looking for all along. Another one there for Carl and the Patriots. Pat Freermuth. Out of 25. Jacob Harris. That's for the Rams. The Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. So Aaron... I guess I guess I can't judge that either for Mahomes, but will Mahomes be a better quarterback in the end, better than Stafford, or is he already better than Stafford? Ever was. I mean, that's the thing. Mahomes is really hyped up, man, but he's so amazing. And I, I mean, let's just, let's just be really honest. I mean, I don't care about Mahomes' no look throws. I think the most impressive throw I've ever seen Mahomes throw was in the Super Bowl two against the Bucks. When all his receivers are dropping passes and he throws that one literally just, like, literally horizontal to the ground. I feel like that is the most amazing pass he's ever done. The fact that it got and it hit the receiver right in the, right in the helmet, I believe, in the end zone. To me, that's more amazing than anything. Miles Sanders. And a little Josh Allen. Out of 50. Davis Mills. We got uh, Len Dawson for the Chiefs. Atomic Relic. Devontae Smith. I mean, we're not just talking deep, accurate passes, Aaron. We're just talking about over a career. So far, Donald Driver to ten. Three out of ten. To ninety nine, Pat Freerma. But yeah, Stafford coming out of college, I mean, I, I liked him in Georgia, too. I thought he had a cannon of an arm. So I don't think the arm is the issue. Nothing's the issue with him, really. I'm just, I'm just saying that, like, 
I feel like he could have done a lot better in Detroit. Yeah, maybe the team could have been better for him, but a lot of these quarterbacks that get drafted to an organization like that usually tend to kind of lift up the organization, you know. But maybe you're right. Maybe just Detroit's just just uh, so <laughs> Detroit doesn't count, I guess. <laughs> And wow, Supernova Trevor Lawrence, 8 out of 15. These actually Supernovas, if I remember correctly, actually sell extremely well. Very nice. That's T Law Jags going to Carl. I mean, a lot of wasted years there in Detroit, I'll tell you that. And I also hate that Detroit didn't give the opportunity for Megatron to just leave. They just had to keep him hostage. The 75 Zeke, cutting edge. Alright, more points. 400. Another Trey Sermon autograph. To 199. I mean, just Calvin with anybody else. <laughs> Josh Palmer to 99. That's for the uh, Chargers. Diego with that one. We got Zaire Alexander and a Terrace Marshall Jr. To 75. Yeah, I don't, but I don't think they were in need of a receiver at that time. They did needed a quarterback to fill in their position. Nico Collins. One, two, three, color patch. I mean, I'm mean, wrong, man. The, I think the thing that lacked for Jamarcus Russell was his, is just his d determination to actually want to be an NFL quarterback. Like, that dude had a cannon. He was really good in college. He could throw 70 yards sitting down. <laughs> but, again, I, I just don't think he fully embraced, you know, wanting to actually win and be a really good NFL quarterback. Jamar Chase to 75. He tried to make a comeback, I remember, a few years later. But too late by then. That dude got paid like 70 mil, guaranteed. And, yeah. Jamar Chase, Bengals, Jesse. We have to 50 Nick Bosa for the 49ers. Very nice, Carl. <laughs> exactly, dude. Like... He, he was just all full of himself. Kenny Gay wanted 150. Alright, that's Eagles. Oscar. Alright, four more boxes. Brandon Ayuk. Look at that. The Lord and Savior for the Detroit Lions, Jared Goff. <laughs> Detroit Lions, that's going to Riley. Ayuk. Josh Allen. J.K. Dobbins to 75. 
Rondell Moore to 75. Marcus Stevenson. That's for the Bills. Corey. Hey, here we go. Numbered 10 out of 35, Trevor Lawrence, RPA. There you go, Carl. Very nice, hey, Carl. He's better than some quarterbacks in the league, Aaron. Come on, man. I hope he just freaking kills it. Like, that's all I want. <laughs> just have him kill it so bad. Scary Terry McLaurin, and there's Miles Garrett. Hey, there's a start. 54 to 75. No, just to spite everybody. I feel like so many people hate on this guy. Again, he got to a Super Bowl too, with the same, well, almost the same Rams team, you know. So, give him a little bit of credit. <laughs> AJ Brown to seventy-five. We have to uh, 100 Justin Herbert. I can say Rams defense also won this Super Bowl, Aaron. What about that? I can say the same thing. Out of 25, Tyler Boyd. Oh, dude, Falcons? Oh, man, dude, don't... Falcons fans? Man, I would... Yeah, let's, let's switch to that. Falcon... Oh, my God, I'd be so sad if I was a Falcons fan. To 99, Travis Etienne, Jr. I mean, I don't actually know. I mean, he might have thrown one. Because I think it was low scoring regardless. But, I mean, he got beat by the GOAT. So, there's that as well. True. That is, uh... Wait, was that the Rams New Orleans one? Was that the same one? The, the, uh... Um, where the guy basically has a pass interference. Was that the same Super Bowl? Oh. The fact that the Saints got screwed, like, twice. And the Minneapolis Miracle, I think, happens, like, the next year, right? Or the year before. Tyler Boyd. Bengals. Jacob Harris. Rashad Bateman. That's Ravens Riley. I want a Rob Gronkowski. 20 out of 25. Very nice. Last ball mojo of Bucks going to Carl. And Dwayne Eskridge to 99. Well, Greg, I will be rooting for your Falcons to some extent. I don't really care if they win or lose, 
but I just want Mariota to play well. You know, I'm a big Oregon fan and love Mariota in college. So, I mean, whether you like him or not, I'll, I'll be rooting for him to just do well. And 100%, Jack, there's no way that Gronk is not a Hall of Famer. The question is, will he be a first ballot? I think he could be. What Gronk has done, just even regular season more in the playoffs, he's 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 definitely in. It's just more like, could he be a first ballot Hall of Famer? His stats just are crazy. All right, here we go. Last box. Carlos Boogie Basham and Bobby Wagner. You know, there was a couple of those years where he was literally breaking that same arm every year and having surgery. But even then, he came back and still had great seasons. Clyde was there. We got Joe Mixon. Number to 100. Jamar Chase, trifecta. 76 out of 100. Phil Sims. Well, again, he can play well. Just, just, just don't win. Just don't win. That, that's all. That's what I just said. I don't really care whether he wins or loses, but he can still play well. And Kenny Gainwell for my Eagles. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. Uh, not necessarily that I wanted a Burrow to win. I'd rather have just had the Bengals win over the Rams because I feel like, you know, living in L.A., there was a lot of bandwagon Ram fans that were worthy, like, two, three years ago, you know, or a year ago, even. That's my thing. It didn't mean that I really wanted Burrow to win. So, T-Law, RPA, T-Law Supernova to 15. And, of course, got a couple points, our uh, Zach Wilson. Color Blast was a very nice one. And like I said, some really, really nice hits. But, I mean, I can't say I wasn't rooting for Joe Burrow. Like, it would have been great for the hobby. It would have been great for just history, right? I mean, a second-year quarterback... You know, obviously goes down year one with a torn ACL, major knee surgery, and then manages to somehow, you know, like I say, take the team to the playoffs, win a couple of playoff games, and then lead themselves to the Super Bowl. And they were close, man. It sucks for a Bengals fan. It was heartbreaking because, again, yeah, you know, the Rams won, but they were really, really close, man. I mean, like I said, if he gets that extra split second or two seconds from Aaron Donald, Jamar Chase is just open right down the field in the seam. And I, I, I think he hits them and they score. Like, it was just that kind of year. But, you know, obviously Aaron Donald for that reason, right? He's, he's one of the best in the NFL, and if not ever, he made the play, and that was it. So there you go, guys. So, again, two, uh, two points, 400 to number one, 400 to number two right there. But, yeah, I mean... Alright, so let's uh, paste in. Or sorry, not paste in that. Paste in the teams. Number top two get some points. And again, I feel like Cincinnati's defense did pretty well too. They Not like they played horrible. And they had to face, you know, Mahomes. Right? They had to face some really big tests, and they did well. And again, they're young. So, like I said, I, I think they'll be back soon. I mean, Cincinnati is really good. All right, so here you go, guys. Roll the dice. Five and a one, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, 
five, and six. At the end of the day, the defense put their defense put them in a position to win. It just didn't work out for them. They did enough. Steelers and Cowboys. There you go. After six times. <clears throat> And then going back to the Eagles Patriots champion uh, Super Bowl defense does not win games because it was all offense that game that Super Bowl. But I guess I guess uh, Eagles getting that one turnover helped them so much. But still, that game was just ridiculous. The fact that Tom Brady had like the best stats in the Super Bowl history, and and they still lost. I just remember I was like 10 shots deep. Uh, I swear I was. I'm a big guy. I don't really drink a lot, but when I do, you know, I need a lot to get me pretty good. And I told myself, you know, anytime the Eagles score any points with those field goals, touchdowns, I was going to take a shot with my family, and I did. I didn't feel it one bit up until I knew that the Eagles were finally going to win. And then it just hit me, and I was drunk, and I think I blacked out the rest of the night. I, I just, it was It was crazy. Let me look at their schedule right now, and I'll tell you. All right, guys, so there you go. Steelers, Cowboys, 400 points each. Thank you, guys. So this is Pikachu number four. Number five is in the store.